good morning students welcome back to video lectures on engineering graphics in this video we will try to convert one more problem that is isometric view to the orthographic view now dear students if you go back to all three example read problem on videos related to convergence and this the complexity of the problem is differing from one video to other why because in any way the question paper can be given uh, like if you look at the more number of dimensions or the complexity is varying this is something like difficult that means you need to, you need to try to understand this complete 3d uh, given drawing in the exam question paper so what i am telling you to you is to practice many such problems from various sources textbook or any other source and if you look at all the problems and this problem there are there is a complexity is higher in this why because i i want to make videos in such a way uh, from easy to difficult video to make students understand if you are unable to understand this please go back to uh, example 3 to 1 and come back here so that you'll be understanding and the step-by-step -step procedure and the concept for all the conversions is similar and do not confuse and get down yourself looking at these many dimensions and these many are different cross sections given in this 3d so i'll make you very easy understanding so first what i told you to do is to uh, look at the arrow mark indication the arrow mark facing which side the arrow mark facing is towards this side so this is our front view which we need to project first this way so do not look at this complete all dimensions and uh, worry what i told you to is to draw the uh, if it is asked front view top view side view you need to work out first the dimensions you need to pro talk about the rectangles what is the dimension what is the front view the front view what we see dear students you can see in my example problem one and you'll be understanding there what how i explained there so the front view is length and height length and height so what is the length and height here how much is the length if you see here it is given 42 but is our length 42 no if you see here there is an extent it looks like in a uh, hexagon but it is not in a regular hexagon and when you look here a center line axis is given here and dimension is provided till this corner that is 30 and that means this complete from here to here that is 60 that means keep in brain that your complete length is 60 not 42 42 is only from here to here length is 60 and what is the height height is 36 here and if you look here above this uh, solid one more solid is placed that is a cylinder which is of axis 10 which is of axis 10 so 30 plus 10 so that is 46 the complete height is 46 so 60 by 46 is the rectangle dimension and if you look here from the top in the top view we see what the same length whatever we see in the uh, front view that is 60 and width how much is the width that is 32 width is only this this is 32 so 60 by 32 is visible here and if it is our side view the side view is what width as well as height that means width from the front that is uh, sorry width from the top that is 32 and uh, what we see this height complete this is how much 30 plus 6 plus 10 46 46 by 32 and here it is only drawn front and the top view when you look at the problem very clearly here you can see from the front the hexagonal structure but that is not a regular hexagon so what you need to do is first draw a rectangle of 60 by 60 by uh, how much is this 36 plus 10 height 46 60 by 46 within that 60 by 46 try to understand locate the axis at the center locate the axis at the center after locating the axis as center now from the center if you see this height this is 18 measure this 18 and plot on this 36 18 so from the 30 uh, this side it is 30 and this side is 30 from this corner i mean from this corner join this to the line at a distance of 42 if you look here again it is uh, 42 from here that means here it is 21 21 drop a line onto the 60 and from this 21 draw a line so that you get this here and even drop from here to 21 
and similarly either sides you will be getting this hexagon structure that you will be getting so this is 18 given this edge distance is 18 18 18 so this height complete will be 36 and above this a cylinder is placed when you view the cylinder from the front the front view of the cylinder is what you have rectangle how much is the axis of rectangle 10 in order to draw a cylinder we require even what base circle diameter so 10 by and this is how much 22 means 11 sorry 22 is this sorry this is 22 by 10 this is 10 and this is 22 pi if it is a radius that is 11 but here completely we are going to draw the diameter so this is uh, 22 pi 22 so front view is a rectangle upon this 10 by 22 so by this you can complete your front view and when you look at the top view in the top view what you see will see this this and even one more plate of rectangle this side similar and a circle is visible viewing from the top in the third uh, in the between in the middle one now how to do this before uh, going to proceed project this projectors from the front project the projector from the front view that is this is nothing but complete 60 this length in the front view is the length in the top view and how much is the width this width is almost 32 this width is 32 and you project from each and every point here so that you will be getting the remaining features so what is the remaining features here so when you view from the top here here is a circle where that circle need to be located in the center of this plate so that is how much pi 22 pi 22 pi 22 and this that dimension is also represented and here you have one more rectangle which is uh, projected from these two corners and you need to project even from these two corners and this point so you'll be getting this blocks even this side and this side and this is about the front view and this is the top view and to try to represent all the dimensions and work out many such problems thank you